In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the S22 Plus charging port. On this one, the customer actually got their SIM tray stuck and had a little bit of a problem with it, and they've chewed it to pieces. So I'm going to replace it for them and pop them a new SIM tray on there as well while we're at it. To start off, you can see that I've got the phone on the hot plate here. It's set to 85 degrees C already. This has been sat on here for the last five or so minutes, so it is nice and warm. You can achieve the same effect with a heat gun or a hairdryer, however, it will take a little bit longer. I've got a single-sided razor blade here, and I'm just going to start creating a gap in between the bezel or the chassis of the phone and the edge of the screen. Once I've got that, I'm going to get some isopropyl alcohol, and I'm just going to let it soak in around the edge where I've created that small gap. I'm going to use a business card now because I can't find my plastic pick, and this isn't even one of my business cards. It's from another computer shop who sent us some gear and we're just going to run that between that edge. I don't think it's going to work so good because it's a cardboard one. That's a great shame. Let's try it with the suction cup, although these like matte surfaces don't work so well. Although maybe we can do it with my finger. I do apologise, this is not how we do things around here. Let's get some plastic on the situation. So. Now that we've lifted it up a little bit with the suction cup and I've actually could be bothered to find a opening pick, I'm just going to run it a couple of millimetres into the edge there and we're going to run it around the edge, separating the back cover from the chassis. You might find that you go in between where the adhesive is, you can just grab hold of it and pull it out if you can and then I'll carry on working my way around, just running it down the edge to separate it. Just remember that this camera part is still attached there, so be careful when you're removing that because it can separate. But there we go, that is now removed. At this point, whilst it's still warm, it's a good idea to grab hold of any of the adhesive and remove as much as you can because it can be a little bit trickier when it cools down. And I'll show you how to reinstall it in a little while. Let's go over to the workbench now. Safety first, we're going to disconnect the battery. So we'll go ahead and remove the screws that hold down the metal shield at the very top of the phone. I believe there's six in total, but I have been wrong before, although I'd never admit that to my wife. We use the plastic pick to disconnect the wireless charging coil and NFC antenna. And then we can lift this guy up to reveal our battery connector just here. Let's go ahead and disconnect that. Now we'll move down to the bottom of the phone this is going to be a really quick repair, by the way. You can tell with the speed of my voice. We're going to go ahead now and remove, I think there's about eight screws. Seven, actually. I told you I've been wrong before. So let's remove the seven crosshead screws from this bottom area. Use tweezers to get that last one. And then usually what you find is on these, there'll be a small arrow point into a prime point. And I use the tweezers on this to lift it up and separate that loudspeaker and plastic cover away from the phone. Store that safely for later, and then get your plastic prime tool, disconnect the subflex from here and here, and then we've got another three crosshead screws that hold down this bottom board. I've already got the SIM tray out of this, but it's a good idea. You will not get that subboard out without the SIM tray out. So if you've not already took it out, take it out it just pops out with either some tweezers or a sim ejector tool. And I'm gonna lift this up just here and it's out, look. And I don't know if you can see all the pins are bent inside there. So that's going straight in the bin. And we've got a new genuine service pack charging port there. We'll remove the plastic cover from the microphone so that that's not muffled and quiet. <coughs> Nathan. <coughs> and then we're just gonna sit it in and Sorry, let me just explain that a bit better because it doesn't just sit in like that. You have to go charge port end first, make sure that the flex cables are out of the way and just slide it in there underneath and it'll secure down like that. It might feel like it's a little bit wobbly. That's not a problem. You're just going to get your crosshead screwdriver and re-secure those three screws that we took out to get it back in place and then that spongy springiness will go away. Now I'm gonna reattach the antenna subflex and the sub to main flex. Make sure that they click down nicely. It's also worth just pressing on the display connector in case it got disturbed when we were removing that loudspeaker. 
This one hasn't, but just a little side note because you know I'm here full of tips. Let's go ahead and re-secure this guy down now. Just be careful, right, because these loudspeakers are magnetic. I've just took a screw from the top side. You don't want to be getting a screw stuck to there, what you've put on the, on the workbench, and then causing some damage to the screen because you've got a bloody screw stuck there. It's just not good for business at all, I promise you. So with that secured down, if you find that springy, do the same again. Just get all your screws in place. If you can't screw a screw in, that's because there's something obstructing it. So just take it out, make sure there's nothing in the way, and then do it again. Now that we've got all those seven screws in there, now that that's secured, we'll move up to the top of the phone and reconnect our battery first of all. Then we can fold over that wireless charging antenna and make sure that the connectors are re-secured re down here and here. And then we've got those six, I think, screws that we need to re-secure this thing down with. Make sure that they're nice and tight. Now that they're screwed down, we're gonna take a look at the back cover now because we need to make sure that that sticks down properly. You can also get your hands on these genuine service pack stickers. It comes with the screws as well as some other little bits of adhesives and that. Let me show you how we use it. These are a bit awkward for the S22, unnecessarily awkward. Um, but basically you've got to separate this little bit of metal from the back of the camera lenses. Isopropyl alcohol will help. Peel that off and then we're going to peel off the adhesive from the back of this here. You could technically just cut it to make it fit, but we're putting the proper seal on here. You know we don't mess about on this channel. You will find that it'll come away like that. But remove all the adhesive from the back of there. And then we're gonna line it back up just like that. Remember I said it's awkward? It really is. It also sounds awful. I hate the sound of metal on glass. With that lined up, we're going to go ahead and peel off the clear part of the adhesive and we'll start off by lining it up just here and make sure that it sticks yeah, down real nicely. Now I'm going to peel off this little part of the sticker. Oh yeah. We're going to peel Software off the black side of this one uh, something. and we'll stick this um, part on top. So And it sticks down, sits down just like that. Um, you can peel so off that bit of adhesive. It's, I'm telling you, it's very, very awkward to do these. And then finally, there's this little foam sticker that we stick on just like this. With that secured down, we can peel off the last of the film now. And then we're going to go straight in and stick this straight on here because it's good to go now. Just make sure that it's pressed down really nicely. You can use heat to re-secure this, but I've found that using your hands will make it secure enough. And you can see this repair is now complete. All that's left to do now, because the customer damaged their SIM card tray thing as well, I had to order one of those. They're about three pounds, including VAT. And then a little tip, just stick SIM cards to phones and then you don't lose them. So don't forget to put your SIM in the bottom of the device now the right way around just like that turn the phone back on make sure that it all works and it picks up sim you also want to be making sure that you're testing the microphones and loudspeaker as well that just about completes this repair thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video